This is the solution to quiz 16. <coughs> Evaluate each geometric series or show it diverges. Okay. <clears throat> well, the formula that we're going to use is that the sum of a geometric series, the formula is A over 1 minus R, and that is exactly when <clears throat> the absolute value of the ratio is less than 1. All right. So, a, we need to figure out A and R. A is 9 because A is always the first term. <coughs> R, well that's the ratio of two consecutive terms. Uh, so for example, 9 over 4 divided by 9, well that's a fourth. So the answer to part A will be um, 9 divided by 1 minus 1 fourth. So the sum is <coughs> 9 divided by, well, that's 4 fourths minus three, uh, 1 fourth is 3 fourths. So that's the same as multiplication by f uh, 4 thirds. 9 over 3 is 3 times 4 is 12. This sum, <coughs> well, this sum is 5 over 6 plus uh, 5 over 6 squared plus 5 over 6 cubed plus dot, dot, dot. So this would be 5 over 6 plus 5 over 6 times 1 over 6 plus 5 over 6 times 1 over 6 squared plus dot dot dot. So again the formula is the same as before. <coughs> S is A over 1 minus R. We just need to figure out what A and R are. So A is going to be 5 over 6 and R is 1 sixth. <coughs> So the sum is 5 over 6 divided by 1 minus 1 sixth. Well, that's 5 over 6, so the sum is just 1. Okay, so the answer to part 2, okay, the question to uh, two is using Newton's method. So as for part A, uh, the function in question is log x plus x minus 2. The function's derivative is uh, 1 over x plus 1. And then <coughs> The initial value we can use is, how about the midpoint of that? So that would be uh, 1 plus 4 is 5 over 2 is 2.5, so we'll use 2.5. And then the update formula, xn plus 1, well that's xn minus this thing evaluated at um, xn, so log xn plus xn minus 2, and then divided by the derivative evaluated at xn, so 1 over xn plus 1, and then part b, <coughs> iterate until four places past the decimal have converged, okay, well x1, well that's 2.5, so I'll type that into the calculator, 2.5, now I'll type this expression, the update formula, and I'll for xn I'll type 
ANDs, ANS, in my calculator. So that would be ANS minus log of ANS plus ANS minus 2 divide by 1 over ANS plus 1. So that means that the next one, <coughs> x2, well that's 1.488363763. The next one, <coughs> That's 1.556525922. The next one, x4, is 1.557145551. And the next one, <coughs> X5 is one is 1.557145599. So the first four places have converged 5571. Okay? That's the answer to part uh, 2. So now I evaluate each limit. Okay, well, the denominator is zero, and when you plug in uh, zero into 2x plus 1, you get 1. Re remember that the log of 1 is zero. So that means that this limit is in the form 0 over 0. So that's a ratio indeterminate form. So this is a sick limit, and we'll take it to La Hospital. Right, we'll use L'Hopital's rule. So this is the limit as x goes to 0. Uh, now the derivative of the numerator, that is um, 2 over 2x plus 1. And the derivative of the denominator, that's 5. Uh, and now this limit is no longer indeterminate because that's 2 that's 1, that's 5 at the limit point, x is 0. So this is 2 over 1 divided by 5. So the answer is 2 fifths. <coughs> uh, part B. Uh, this one is meant to double check you and make sure you're not using L'Hopital's rule just any old time. So <coughs> The numerator evaluates to 2, and the denominator evaluates to negative 1, and that's the answer. Okay, so then for part 3, <coughs> it is currently in the form 0 over 0, so we can use L'Hopital's rule. So that would be, the new, the new numerator would be e to x, and the new denominator would be 4x cubed. Now, um, the numerator at the limit point is 1, and the denominator is 0, so this limit does not exist. <coughs> and that's the answer.